Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wild DLC. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing great. Uh, today we're going to be working on the quest, The Shaman's Path. And that's what we're going to attempt to do. And I think the path is right here. I don't think we're going to attempt. We're actually going to do it. Let's get into this. I should... I should actually go see if this guy's got any wire, this merchant. I know he sells weapons, but hopefully he sells wire, because we're really low. Uh, resources. Oh, he does. I'm going to grab about 100 of them. Or, uh, yeah, 120. That's good enough. That will do for now. And then let's make sure that we're... Yeah, we should be good on everything else. Let's load three arrows just in case we need them. Here's the dam. We were over there yesterday. Oh, it's kind of a... pretty interesting spot here. Whoa. Whoa. Very cool. Um, one thing I did notice that... Is that a boar? What is that? A badger. Uh, actually... <laughs> I didn't want to do that. that wasted some arrows. Um, yeah, there's these, uh, there's other animals, like badger bones, like, I haven't seen, I didn't want to pick those up, uh, I didn't see anything in our crafting area to upgrade using any of the new, oops, crafting, animal pouches, like here, like, we need fish bone, or we need rat bone and fish skin. Like, none of them have what we're... I don't know. Unless there's, like, a new... Unless those are for, like, the new bows that we get from the, the blue gleam. And so, we'll, we'll have to collect them at some point in time, I'm sure. Okay, we keep going this way. Oh, we gotta climb up here. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out. Maybe when I see them, I'll I'll shoot them and then only collect the skins. We get them. This bunch of blue gleam, I'm sure. Oh, look at the wire glowing. I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Whoa. Oh, it's, uh... They're just machine parts. Am I supposed to do something with it? Activate. Ah. Looks like each marker points to another. Giving directions. Okay. Or we go that way. Yes, I know, but... What is here, then? Nothing, I guess. Oh, okay. So 
So I just need to activate each of these for some reason. Guess I'm heading deeper into the cold, creepy ice cave. Good end. Good, at least there's stuff. I was kind of hoping for some more, uh, some more blue gleam, but I think we're only going to get those from completing quests. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Yeah. Oh, I see. Alright, we're gonna go check out these other areas because there might be some other might be some goods. Yeah, like look here. Wrong way. Better go back after I grab this loot. Maybe I should have hold it up, held off on the wire. <laughs> Anything else here? I am looking for those figurines. Um, Place looks amazing. Another marker. Good. Yeah, I think it was over this direction. Yep. I right, just go check over here. This isn't the way out. Some gear though. Let me just scan around here real quick. Thing. Okay, that way then. Oh, it's telling me to go to the right. That is the correct way. Wait. Back? Whoa. Why the noise? Music changed. <laughs> and nothing here. Like the music is more Chime. ominous. Not sure I saw this fork before. Oh, you did. Not this way. But then, where? Oh boy. Okay, yeah, we've got some. I see. Up. Some nasties coming up here. We need to go down that way, I believe. Stalkers. Better be careful. Huh. Have we? 
No, I think that's the first time... I guess they're the same. They're just going to be different. They're just corrupted. Looks like I have to go down. Let's go this. Oh no, that's the way we came up. And we already went that way, okay. I think we're gonna have to fight. some point. Dead end. Good, at least there's stuff. Look at all the wire we're getting. Oh, hello. I kind of wonder if we can get him over here and then we can tie him down and kill him. Go on, pull it before I get caught. Yep. <laughs> Don't fall off. Heal, 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 heal. Ouch. Nope, I'm stuck. Wow. Oh no, I'm not picking up anymore, am I? Yikes. Whew. Yeah, that was not very smart to fight him in here. I, I guess I should have just fought him in there. <laughs> I thought we were going to go down there for a second. Okay, let's uh, move forward. Maybe we'll find some healing potions here. Oh, they can do both. Interesting. I thought these would explode. Okay, 
Okay, we know that there's another dude, a Ravenger, coming up here. Or no, it wasn't a Ravenger. What was they called? They're one of the new ones. New machines. Done with the cave. So what's next on this path? Whoa. Well, that's a cool sight. Why is it pointing? I guess it's just telling me that I need to go this direction. Okay. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. There we go. case we Down. fall then up. oh I guess we have to go down there's the way oh 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 what do we got here Oh, pigment. Pigment, that's the first. Light colored resin form an old world metal. Pigment used for Banook rock painting. It sets at Song's Edge for valuable rewards. Okay, was not expecting that. So we'll need to look for those then. Pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. Oh, I guess I bet you had to do this pretty quickly. <laughs> oh. Made it. Uh oh, it just keep on going like normal. I think the other one did. That's a really cool idea. I want to see real quick. What do we have for... We have 142. I'm going to switch over to this. Right now. We can climb up there. Why can we climb up there? There's something up here. All right, I'm, I'm gonna check it out because you know me, I gotta look for everything. See anything else? Wind chime. Supply crate. There's nothing up there. Maybe if I fall. Whoop. That's the only way I can get back.
I wish it wasn't so snowy, because that'd be probably really amazing to look at. I think there's frost between my teeth. Frost between your teeth? Okay, we're gonna jump. Oh. God, no. Oh, fancy. What? Is that thing? Irving wasn't exaggerating. Like a bear. There's definitely something new out here, and I don't think it's friendly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. Can I get a scan of it. Nope. Did I record it? Nope. <laughs> Fantastic. Interesting. Maybe I could override it. Yeah, I want to try overriding that. I was going through my video and through my video and I uh, last was it last one? No, this is the third episode, the you know, second episode. And it was talk about overriding, and I didn't catch that at first. The sound of that. Holy crap. Oh, that's the... That's that flower thing. It does damage to me. I want to see if I can... Get past back here enough so it doesn't hit me. Does it just knock down my shields, maybe? It must. So I'm going to go back in here. The frost, the frost claw. So fire's weakness to the body. That's good to know. Weakness to everything is going to be the, the freeze and the freeze sack and the unit, which is on the belly and then one on the shoulders. Or I guess there's two on the shoulders, maybe. Which I can rotate this. And then a power cell that's on his back. Shock or tear. Now, the question is how I'm going to get up there to... You know, unless I can bring down... Get his attention over there somewhere. Oh, yeah. You gonna go down, buddy? him as well. Hey, 
work for me. Oh, it just kind of... I guess I have to kill him. Okay. I guess we're doing this, big boy. Because I can't override him yet. slow him down at all. Just get above it. Take out his power core. There we go. Easy peasy. Scary machine down. Now back to finding Araya. Which means we've got to climb. Yeah, I didn't even have to pin him down. I mean, I could have easily pinned him down, but I didn't. Let me just check to make sure I've got enough. Yeah, I've got plenty of wood. A couple of rocks here that we were throwing. Can't carry more. So, we overrode that. Very interesting. Like, it didn't really help us at all? Up there. Not that I know of. Doing something... It wasn't, like, attacking or doing damage. I was kind of hoping it would. Yeah, let's just double-check to make sure there's nothing over there. Cool machine, though. And how did she get up here <laughs> with going, I, I guess, sneaking past all these things? I don't know. the shrine Neltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Yes. Oh, just one? What is that? That's like a storm bird? Okay. Forget about traveling light. Said Aurea went past the shrine into the mountain. I better take those stairs. Hmm. 
an ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. How'd she get in there? Does she have a... Does she have a focus? I wonder if she's got a focus. Just let me back up here. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair, oh boy, I should just go to bed. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Yeah, this is a inter interesting facility. All right, let's keep an eye out for any crawl spaces. And back there, so I guess we're heading forward. I bet this is the room that we're gonna find him in. Oh, 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 oh. Rescending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You sh weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. <laughs> okay. Uh, we found a crawl space. What secret awaits? Ooh, secret room. <laughs> Here's Belvin again. Director of security. Oh, I guess not. Blevins. Like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Oh. Someone's not happy. What's this place? The door again. Okay. Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with the state-of-the-art, ultra-secure, and absolutely necessary lambent uh, orbicol... orbicular door access. So here's the S-L-O-W version again. The thingy in the middle is the source node. Turn it on. Yeah, I know. Hard, right? Then you've got to turn the other nodes so that the data streams containing your credentials get back to the source. Some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect or suspect data, so avoid those. Shouldn't be tough because you know they're red, all in <laughs> like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were you were taught in preschool, but with this crowd, who knows? Anyway, that's it. Get the data stream back to the source and the door will open. It's really not hard, not that tough, but if you need uh, if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while while you give it a try. Actually, scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. Okay, so I wonder There's a door I noticed that's red. It's a vault door. I'm guessing we kind of stumbled There's across this first. Floor must be connected to the door. Yeah. These lights. These things turn, changing the flow of light. A 
Alright. Let's see if the door's open. Fantastic. What is this, though? Looks like a magnifying glass. Okay, is there anything else in this room? Yeah, I think we stumbled across this room before we got to the door. <laughs> Thought I was being good, but I guess not. I mean, I'm good that I found it beforehand, but what happens when you check every corner? Yep, that door is now open. What about in here? Must be like a shower. Oh, we have a data pad right here. 0.6. on through. I don't know how she got through all this. I just want to double check there's nothing anywhere else that we can go. I don't think so. This is the only place. Fresh air ahead. Get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Oh. I thought I ate the big one there. Oh, what is that noise? Is that thun thunder? Interesting. I'm looking for any more blue gleam. Stage two complete. So it's to YNPF dash all December 23rd, 2046. Subject First stage of main facility complete. Attention, all staff. It is with pride that I announce the completion of the first level of the infrastructure on our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center of, for our project and will require teams to continued best efforts to realized by the deadline best effort to to realize by the deadline um but even though there are there is much more to be done you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far please find attached a detailed plan 
or must uh, mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as the contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. Nine percent, ninety percent of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. Your name does not appear on the assignment list. Please email Marissa with me in CC. Your dedication, talent, intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. Mustering out of the auxiliary space? Is that like cleaning out, I guess? Oh. Oops. Oh, we got another data pad in here. Menu prank. Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. No one really liked Blevins, I don't think. I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. Whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. All right. This one's bigger. Oh, this one's oh, more one's the same. Get the um, light back to the source. Relax. Okay, so the source. Oh. Let's listen to this real quick, or read this real quick. Maybe this will give us a little bit more insight into this. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed Lambit uh, orbital technology on the lower security door, I admit that for auxiliary data center, it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to follow instruction, need to forward instructions to your team to access the system, activate the source node in the middle, then manipulate the other nodes to direct the data stream uh, with your credentials back to the center. Make sure you avoid the red nodes. There's always uh, the use to isolate any corrupt or sus suspect data. I'm sure somebody uh, someday you'll thank Blevins for making our work so very, very secure, Kenny. Yeah, so we kind of already knew this was just kind of a, like, we missed that other one. Uh, all right, so let's turn this counterclockwise to there. Doesn't matter which direction we turn this. Well, I guess it might. Yeah, we don't want to go that direction. So we definitely want to go this direction. Okay. Let's 
turn this one that way. Should go there and then this should finish it off there oh i have to have it go back into that i see so we do need to go up to there now wrong way There and then this should be like that. Auxiliary channel oh. recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. Authorized transmission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is forcing me. Transmission terminated. Whoa. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are <laughs> the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergen said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. You can charge me? I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja, a raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. 
So began our communion. Hmm. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Which AI was this? Like, is this part of the subsystems? I'm not picking up which one it would have been. But what is the spirit? Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. I guess we have some more dialogue about silence. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Okay, I guess there's nothing more. The daemon, then. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the daemon and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again until today. What kept you from the spirit after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. 
It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you what? want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. You become chieftain now. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. <laughs> what do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Okay. Or speak to my friend, Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Like her own? What does that mean? A weapons box. Whoa. Storm bolts. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. Weapons. We got a new spear? And it has ammo? <laughs> what? We can upgrade it too. That does 50. Oh, okay. So it's an actually interesting. Okay, so it doesn't replace our bow. It's just. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade it. Uh, weapon. Do we have? Oh, yeah, we do. So it's really anything. So we're going to add the handling. Or are we going to increase the lightning? Let's increase the lightning on it. And what does it do? Oh. Well, that's interesting. I don't know. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's another Ooh, animal Carver. figure. Oops, wrong one. Uh, it's... This one. Impressive animal. Oh, a bear. So yeah, so oh, I wonder if each one of these, each one of the new okay. machines, are from uh, of an animal depiction. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Hmm. All right. Uh, do you have any blue gleam in here? Chance. I'm going to say that a uh, no. Okay, we got a cool new weapon. In, uh, you know, I'm not sure if I really want that weapon as the... You know what? We'll leave it and we'll try it. Oh, and I bet now if we go to crafting through this. Okay, let's upgrade it. So we need a squirrel bone. I will all oh, we are going to see new weapons. And that's what the like the 
what we're gonna start seeing with like the goat and whatnot. Cold, very cold. I get it. Okay. So where do we need to go with these? Oh, we're really close to the rail part. Why don't we... Okay, this is gonna be a longer episode. We're gonna go get the rail Good. part. I can use this. Because I think that's gonna be useful. I think we can upgrade our spear then. We need to go that direction. What do we have here? We just have chargers, just normal chargers. Leave me alone. Oh, you know what we should do? We should try our new, uh... new weapon. Oh. oh, falling off the ridge. Oh boy, what am I getting into now? Well, that's interesting. Oh boy. Cross claw. Big boy. Oh, actually. BS on that. What the? What in the? Wow. Okay. Throws mouthfuls. Oops. Let's try this. Oh, his rump. takes a lot more. Okay, he's like frozen standing up. What is 
there's that. Is there like some kind of ice armor? Jeez. Okay, we learned a lot more about this dude. Holy crap. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Goodbye, Grizzly. World's last grizzly dies in National Park. Mammoth Hot Springs, West Virginia, or, uh, Wyoming. November 23rd, 2051. Today, a continent joins hands in grieving the loss of an iconic species. Sergeant Wooly Nickers, the world's last known grizzly bear. Ursus Arctus Horribilis was found dead by Yellowstone Park Ranger at the confluence of the Yellowstone River and Thief Therefore Creek. Sentimental explanation for this demise is heartbreaking. His mate, Avira, was fell was felled by a viral infection a few months prior. DNA samples were taken from both bears during their stay at Chicago Lincoln Park Zoo in 2050, but efforts to clone them have proven have been have proven unsuccessful. Zookeepers reintroduced the pair into the wild several months ago in hopes that a large outdoor territory would encourage them to produce cubs. Conversation uh Conservation efforts at the turn of the century met with some success in restoring the bears. In 2017, the species was delisted as endangered by the United States Interior Dep Department, but a diminishing food supply and shortening habit um, hibernation period still threatened, uh, still threatened, and their numbers dwindled rapidly in the die-off era. The grizzly joins the ever-growing list of North American species gone extinct alongside the cougar, the data uh, corrupted. Okay, so are we seeing maybe this as being the grizzly bear depiction? That was a total mistake. Come on, there we go. Okay, we need to go up this way. Ain't no mind to me. I'm kind of hoping that we can just, we, it's not gonna be too big of a fight. To get this thing, but maybe. I just want to check around this real quick. It must be the cave that Sean oh. told me about. We need to go in here. Not natural either. joy Okay Here's one of the metal birds Oh blue gleam Okay, so we can find it on some animals that are dead. Before I grab that, 
I'm going to loot just in case it starts kind of like a fight. I can't spare the weight. Can I get through there? Oh. Okay, we're going to be going in there at some point in time. Actually, let me go ahead and... Examine? Something's been hacked out of it. Oh. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. I want whatever's that there. Can I get this? Yep. Oh, another figure. Uh, it is... Fiction of a, a deer. Just have to go up. Okay, so there is... I can move that flying machine over a little. Oh. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing I'm going to go somewhere. And then be able to control the flying machine. Oh, the computer. Door lock. I'll need to configure it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Echo Sierra Echo. Leave something else behind. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. Hmm. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. Shouldn't be hard to remove. Sweet. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. Oh, we got another data pad. And him. Who are they talking to? Kenny Chell. To, uh, or so to Kenny from Harris Booner. Uh, subject ban him. Uh, Kenny, I get it, okay? I really do. Faro is, is Firebreaker's patron. Belvin, Belvin's is Faro's lapdog. Uh, circle of ass kissing, blah, blah, blah. But if you allow Bella. See, sorry. Allow Belvins to remain on site. Installation is going to take twice as long as we're budgeted for. But I don't know how deep the fire break uh, fire breaks pockets are, but I can guarantee you that they're not bottomless. We just got done recalibrating the entire fleet, the entire fleet, Kenny. Why? I imagine you're wondering. Oh, oh, Kenny, I am so glad you're hypothetically asked Blevins was unhappy with the baseline behavior routine of the security drums you know the ones he selected himself not aggressive enough he said I doubt a Rottweiler mounted on a IC, ICBM would be aggressive enough uh, for him so he patched in some combat behaviors which let me tell you was not easy basically 
outfitted these things for war. Think about that, Kenny. Bleeding edge combat drones patrolling in empty wilderness. All so Blevins can play army on Firebreak's dime. I'm begging you, Kenny, find a way to bar him from the hangars, please. Eris. He sounds like he's getting in a bunch of trouble. Okay. We, yeah, we can head out this way. done here so that's only going to work on certain things that are you know that, that can be hit by that I guess um, getting out this way as soon as we're out of here I think I'm going to fast travel and we're going to go turn this in and then uh, from there so this thing will improve my spear huh yeah let's go check this out Oh, I don't have a... I thought I maybe had a fast travel point right next to him, but I don't. Maria said to find her friend, the rock painter. Whoa. Seems paintings mean a lot to the Banuke. Whatever happens, this way. can't let the demon's work take our resolve from us. I mean, I never use my spear, but if I guess if we have more damage or if we can do some other effects, maybe. Let's find out what what we can do. Is this what you Hush, hush. A shaman secrets are not spoken aloud. Is this what you wanted me to find? Bind it to your spear. Use it to attach this for now. You'll find more, I'm sure. Why are you helping me? The blue light is fading. The machine songs are ending and and what does the conclave do? They sit, they chant, they observe. No more. We must fight for it. And you? You are a fighter. We share a cause. I'm not sure we do. I'm not even sure what the cause is. But I'm grateful. No need for thanks. Only action. Now I can attach modification parts to my spear. Works for me. Wow. Might as well get started improving my spear. Okay, so your spear now has slots for modification items. Press enter to go to the treasure. Mm. I was reading that. The treasure box. I have two. Okay, so he must have maybe given me a couple things. Yeah, right here. Let me go ahead and just clean these up. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 
I probably have. Okay. Uh, let's go back in here. Let's go to crafting, modification. Now we can have two. 27% and 26% damage. Yes, please. 77. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to probably find different ones, but that is a massive upgrade. Holy crap. All right, cool. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this, oh, I got some blue gleam too. How much blue gleam do I have? Is it here in special items? I have 30, hold on, hold on. We're not ending this yet. Hang on, don't leave. I think I have enough for a bow. <laughs> no, how about this? These lands belong We're gonna to end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to go and pick up a bow because I think we have enough. If we don't, we'll get enough well, probably in the next episode. But I'm pretty sure I think 13 was one of the numbers that we needed. So, guys, thank you so much. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're notified when the new videos come out. Also, if you want to help the channel out even further, go check out my Patreon. Uh, also, go check out our Discord. Uh, and that should be everything. Thanks for watching.